Welcome to the Seven Crosses series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And we are picking up on the 2nd of May 1953. You can see the money isn't brilliant, so we're going to have to carry on playing like we have done for the last couple of videos. Now, the game's on pause for a reason, which I will explain in a little while. But first things first, big thank you for your comments and feedback. You guys give me so much to think about. Now, somebody did point out that this school is effectively redundant because at the end of the video, I kind of got in a bit of a panic over the education in this area. And I didn't notice I had this school here. This school is, I could say, I've preempted a future problem. But what I am going to do is I'm going to finish and build it. And then what I will most likely do is then um, reduce the, pop, um, the workforce down so it's not used. Because in the long term, I'm going to need this school. Because eventually we're going to get rid of this school here. So, so it's not completely wasted. Now, another comment related to this water mill down here. And somebody asked about whether it's really useful in the sense that it, it can't be connected to the high tension need. And if I should come in here and show you, what you'll see is that at the moment it's producing very little amount. And the amount coming across this power line here is, is okay at the moment, but you're never going to supply a main grid using water mills. And I think that's probably been intentionally done that way so that you can't really set up a, uh, you can say, a, a water a water mill based power supply, which is effectively free with the workforce. Now, to, to me, the water mills are more useful in the sense of if you've got localized industry, you can see the water mill can supply that industry directly. So in this circumstance here, say I, I wanted a wood cutting post out here, which I might do actually, no. <laughs> Uh, we could put one there or say some port facility or something you could use the water mill to drive it without having to put a local power supply in that's the more useful instance of a water mill but it's never going to be the substitute for a proper power station but at the same time i think it's contributing enough to offset some of my costs which is the reason why i built this here what i'll do now is i'll give you a bit of an update on what i've been doing since the end of the last video over here the new wood cutting post is coming along. We've got all the steel in there. We just need boards and bricks. But of course, at the moment, my construction office is having to fight for the boards and bricks against the exports. Because what I would really like to get done in this video is set, um, get this steel mill working. Because if I can get this working, we might be able to produce some steel. I've also got an idea in this area for making some mechanical components as well. Because... They're quite expensive. If we look at the prices here, I think if I can find the mech components, you can see mech components are over a thousand rubles a time. And the similar to steel, I think is where's the steel? See, steel is only 699, but mech components is very expensive. And I'm going to need quite a lot to finish this conveyor belt system off. So what I'm hoping is to be able to build a, a small mech component factory in here as well. But we're going to have to see if we can fit that in. Now, from a town planning perspective, I've been thinking very much about this heating. And um, I don't think I'm ever going to get it working properly. So probably the best solution would be to actually switch the heating over to coal-fired. But that, that has implication of the costs of import. So I don't want to do that just at the moment. So I've kind of come up with, a, you could say, a, a little bit of a, a, a sort of lateral thought in the sense what I've done is, is I've put in a series of these old town buildings which don't seem to need heating. And the idea is, is that if I can get enough of these in, I can then pull some of the population out of here in the winter. The other thing also is that if I, what I want to do is build these three along here so that I can replace these wooden shacks here. So effectively, you imagine that I'm going to move the population from here into here. And then the idea is, is that well, what I might be able to do then is get another row across the back here. So we have two rows of old town houses here. Built The place is going to look a bit uniform, but I can't think of any other way to do it unless I can find some more um, buildings that don't need heating. And to that end, what I've done is I've also started uh, the process of graveling in these roads here. Originally, I wasn't going to do it, but what I want to do is do the T through here. And it's going to take a little while because of all the footpaths. And I've, I've got to try and minimise the disruption because we've got to keep our economy going. Now, that leads me on to the reason why the game is on pause. And the reason the game's on pause is I'm hoping that my excavators will stay parked in the construction office. 
because what I want to do is look at two mods by Nova. The reasons I want to look at this mod is twofold. One, I think it might help with the economy here. But more importantly, I just want to see, check how the mechanic's going to work simply because uh, for something I've got planned coming up in the future. And I want to make absolutely sure that what Nova says in the mod description, especially for the cattle ranch, actually does work. And, and the mods we're going to be looking at is it's in factories. If I come across here, what you'll see is we've got some cattle fields here. Now, I know some of you will look at this and say, well, you're cheating because these, ca these cattle fields don't need crops when you compare to... Uh, the livestock farm. If you come to the livestock farm here, you can see the livestock farm needs 50 workers and 10 crops, and but it produces six cattle or livestock a, a, a week a day. Now, if I come down to uh, the mod, what you'll see is the big cattle field requires 40 workers and it point, produces 0.4 livestock per day. And considering the area, I mean, we, we might as well start placing these. I want it that way round. For some reason it draws power as well. I'm not sure why you a field would do it. Now, another reason why I actually want to try this out, because I actually like the aesthetic of this mod. Um, what we're going to do is try and level the field through like this. It's going to take a little while to do it. But I do, would like to get this level. Actually, I think this would be quite a good way for leveling areas for fields as well. I'm just going to level that field through. And we might, as it gets level, we might be able to get it, sneak it a little bit closer. And we're going to get rid of that rope there. Don't need that. Now, what Nova says in the mod description for these fields is that. And say so if you interconnect them, what should happen is the livestock should transfer from field to field. Now this V2 one, as far as I know, this is for a regular ter terrain, but I think I'm going to put this one in here. And I want to keep that asphalt road as short as possible. And we're going to see if we can get that in there. Uh, we may have a problem with the road connection, let me just see. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to what we have to do is take out that footpath connection there. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but it'll be okay. I think maybe we can just add another footpath to the mix like that. Actually I think what I might do is just put some more footpaths through there. In fact I'm, what I'm gonna do is put another footpath across like that. So we're gonna be building a lot of footpaths in here. Now I've got this large field and a small field there. And that means that, okay, if we come back to here, now a medium field produces 1.1 um, of a livestock. So these two fields together should equip, produce equivalent to half a, half a livestock, I say half a cow uh, per day. So we're not gonna get a massive amount of production from this. Now this is a brand new mod. Nova literally published this yesterday on the 12th of July, 2021. And what you will find is a uh, factory. Where is it? Oh, come on, game. Where where did you put it? Here it is there, the smokehouse. Um, it always annoys me when, when, I mean, you get a new mod, it's there, and then suddenly it moves up to here. Yeah, this is the smokehouse, and you can see it's really meant for early starts, but I really like the idea of this. I think that the idea of having a smokehouse to turn the livestock into meat in very small quantities is really fascinating and i think i can turn this to advantage and again the reason i want to try it out in this video is for the upcoming project and what i want to do is just connect that up like that we're going to drop the smokehouse in about there maybe i just want to kind of tilt it slightly for a reason no. and then the next thing i would like to do is we go back to here. I wouldn't mind getting a small, if we can get a small cattle field. I've just tucked on this corner here, like that. Now I've got hope. I'm, what I'm hoping is that we'll be able to get workers down to here. 
But if they don't come, they don't come. That's all there is to it. Now, the smokehouse, if I go back to here, again, if we go back to here, you see we need a little, a little bit of wood. It's only got storage for six, and I have actually placed this to take a look at it. It's only got one road connection. So what I'm thinking is we're going to use the storage here. And what I would like is a small open store. Oh, you are a pain game. Okay, what we're going to have to do is kind of try and tilt this up that way a little bit. Because if I use this, you can see it can store 30 tons of wood. So I think if we put that there, we're just going to have to kind of curve the road round. It's going to be a little bit messy, but I think it will be okay. And I think I can keep the game off now. Now, if any of you are a bit confused over why I had the game on pause, the reason was that because all these footpaths, my excavators there, which I needed for the leveling, would have moved off. So what I've actually done, I've, I kept the game on pause until I've done all the necessary placing and building here. So what we should be able to do now is all these will get picked up by various recruits, and then we'll connect things together. And then but I don't think we can connect that up. There's anything that's, I think what we might do is just give the... Uh, the construction office crews a bit of support the road crew as well I and mean, there's quite a big backlog of jobs here so we're just gonna run a little bit faster and look like normal so that we can get a little bit of cash going and hopefully what we'll be able to do is bring these fields online and we'll have two options we can either sell the livestock directly to make a bit of money because I think the what's the price of livestock you can find it livestock if we sell um one we get 200 and 241 but more importantly we could get meat but the, so so the, the output of this area here will have two folds one it will provide meat and hopefully keep everyone a bit happier here and more importantly what it might do is uh be able to generate me a little bit more revenue to get me out of this hole yeah, I can see the old, jolly old constructors, uh, um, excavators are going off but here. Because all these footpaths are local, what should happen is that um, things should go fairly quickly, famously. And we we need to get this finished. And want to... Okay, well... Wouldn't mind getting that nine tonners of steel. What we're going to do is... Release the Noddy vehicle. Where are you? Now, as far as I know, nothing else needs steel at the moment on the job list. Let me just check. Yeah, I mean, all we've got is the wood cutting post. The at school, the school doesn't need a steel. Only the steel mill needs to steel. Now, on a more practical situation, we are now out of crops. You can see here, it's actually telling me that I don't have any crops in this area. In fact, we're out of crops completely across the board now. I think we've got 11 tons there. Fuel-wise, I think we're okay. Because we're in May, and all my gas stations are pretty well full up. The main concern I get is going to be exactly the same as last year, is food supplies. So what I've bought is I've got the truck back here, so in case we need to start importing crops. Yeah, you probably, yeah, the, this heating plant is a real pain in the neck. So we're just going to have to keep kind of trundling away. Luckily we don't need the heating here. It's just keeping the, the water tank is enough to keep things going. Now these buildings only need very small amounts of steel so once we've caught up with the roads and we've got most of this built what I'd like to do is start getting some of these houses built in as well. You can see we're, we're, we're filling in, oh God, wow, they're, not, they're kind of not hanging around. Once the gravel's there we should be able to get things connected pretty quickly and get things done. In fact I'm a bit tempted to get some of the, one of these houses online actually. I think I might do that actually. We'll just add 
uh, one of these houses to the list so that we can maybe save a bit more population we need to keep an eye on the, the food situation here uh, I don't want to panic unless necessary I mean over here things are going pretty well we've got quite a nice big kind of regular flow of gravel here but although because we're exporting it all the time it's uh, and of course we're drawing quite a lot of gravel at the moment to get things going and of course my construction office is having to fight with the export crews to get the boards I'm kind of half inclined to shut this eating plant down but we've got some boards here a little a few boards that are coming out um, the brick plant is I think these guys are picking up the bricks which is going to get this finished uh, we've got 4.6 tons of brick for bricks here I think that this will be the last load here let's just check Oh no, <laughs> I thought you were going there. Where are you going? It's probably here then. This won't be the last load for this lot then. No. You're going to the customs office. Got two. You're going to the steel mill. Okay. I, mean, I just need to be a bit patient. That's all I, I can think of at the moment. guy we're gonna have to send you back to the depot because you've filled up and I don't want you running backwards and forwards so we got 11 tons of steel there which is more than enough to finish that so I've kind of nearly bankrupted myself getting the steel which I don't need now actually I think what we can do is try and plan the mechanical components area here Factory. I think we've got a small mechanical component mechanical component factory got a dinky little factory here this needs 15 tons of steel now if I hook it directly like that it would it could possibly keep nicking all the steel though we could fix it because it only stores five out so that would make sense. I mean, I can't remember what I remember what the um, size of this small steel mill was. Let's see if I can find it. See, this has got storage for 160. The only trouble is, is whether this will have the connections to pick up from. I think I'm going to wait until this is finished, because uh, because once this is finished. I can make a decision on whether I can I want an open store here I don't really want to build an open store here unless I have to but what we could do is hit hook the component factory alongside it and then we can then instead of storing the components over here because we've still got 3.98 tons yes yeah, so I don't think I've, I don't feel I need to rush this you just need gravel and asphalt so what we're going to do is assign you can we assign you yep assign you assign you assign you you get that built then we're just going to let the game run apologies this isn't particularly that exciting but I can't think of anything else that we can do we still need to finish this as well and what we're going to need to do is let the crew catch up but to be honest this connection isn't particularly that important it's this is probably more important so it's bricks that's the problem at the moment these don't need bricks they just need gravel concrete and asphalt so that should be okay Okay, how's the food situation? Let's just keep an eye on that. So we still got as long as we got seven tons of food in the shops, I'm gonna be happy. 
Um, we've got 24 tons in there. We're in the 29th of May. Let's have a look at my fields. The growing process is good. New vehicle type available. Okay, let's look at the vehicle type. Got the BS. Ooh, that could make a difference. Let me just see. Let's have a look. I've got to be a bit careful because I don't want to buy one because I've already got four trucks sat here doing nothing. Uh, let's have a look. Dumpers. 4.5 tons, 3.5 tons. Wow. It's a step up, but it's not brilliant, is it? I mean, this is one of the reasons why progress is so slow is... I mean, this is one of the re it's it's the vehicles is one of the reasons why I miscalculated with spreading everything around because the amount they can haul is quite slow. Well, we got a pack of paper. Look, I mean, this truck could be useful because it could carry eight tons of crops. Um, open hole, ten tons. So, it looks like the BS trucks are more orientated towards the carrying the weight but we don't have anything to carry there i don't think we've got anything from snow got a bat m snow well this is expensive what's this i don't have any more snow plows interesting we've got a vs3 refrigerator and this carries a little bit more so we got a I finally got ourselves a little bit of an upgrade with respect to vehicles that's a 10, which is, that's a step up from there. I think this Bat M is, is a mod that I clicked on, but I didn't realise how expensive they are. I you know, don't think we still, we haven't got anything in here. So we're just going to let's let the money trickle up slowly. And we'll just see what we can build. Right, this just needs 8.1 tons. It's annoying that this isn't finished. These guys are going to do the base connections. It's getting the asphalt laid with my, um, my, these guys, um, and I think the part of the problem is that I've only got the one truck. Wow. Where's my money going? Oh, it's where using asphalt. I've just had a bitumen import. Thank you, game. Yeah, we've had to import some bitumen. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to send one of these trucks to there because, in fact, what we could do is get you guys to give an assist. I don't really want you to... Oh, that one's already finished. This one's finished. Okay, but we've got no workforce here. And does that mean that this is out of range? Okay, we're going to need... Find, try and find some way uh, if, I, if I connect this up with mud footpaths same for argument's sake will that improve the yeah. that's a bit of a mess calculation isn't it I think if I Come there, queue up there. That's a bit of an oddity. Except them. Okay. Ah. Uh, I've got a bit of a oh, we've got connections to there and there. So we've got connections to these two fields. We're just going to need to make the connection to here to get the workforce down here. We've got a feeling we may need to bring this house online so that we can. Yeah, that's a. I, th I would have thought that 
257. 349. I've got a feeling if we can build in these footpaths here, that might make the difference. Yeah, so we're producing livestock here. So we've, we've got some cattle in the centre there. We got our first cattle. Um, we got 0.3 of a cow. <laughs> So we made just a little bit of progress. All right, looks like the dinky crew has got out here. Why, why haven't you finished this? Oh, it's a bit weird, but I'll take that. A bit worried about that money. I think we're and you there. I think we're slowly building the money back up again. Bricks is the issue. Okay, so we've got bricks coming into the steel mill now. I just love this game sometimes. I'm a bit worried about the fact that this guy's got nothing to do. Oh, no, he's got footpaths, but... I'll leave him on footpaths for the moment. In fact, I wouldn't mind him. I think we're... we're probably going to have to add you to that. In fact, I've got a feeling it's going to be the construction office that's going to need to build this area in. Um, how's the food situation? Down to six points. We may just scrape in with respect to the food. How's the fuel situation? Yeah, we're out of fuel now. And but our gas stations have still got food fuel in. Kind of wondering whether I can push my luck a little bit. No. No, I think we're gonna wait. I think once the crops start coming in, what we might do is export a little bit of food or something to try and make some money. We've got to get through just another month. So we've just got to be patient. Um, um, <laughs> right, bricks is the problem again. Bricks, 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 and bricks. But we need those ex lovely exports at the moment. See, what are we actually exporting? We haven't, haven't exported bricks. At the moment, we're running literally on gravel and boards. I wonder, we made, made a small profit. It was just a matter of patience. What was that? Yes, I know. I think what we might do is once the crops start coming in, we may export some food. Then uh, we'll wait till July and then maybe I'll, I'll export some food. Because of course we've got no alcohol exports at the moment because we've got no crops. And I don't want to import the crops in to be able to do that. So, okay. We're actually getting actually what I could do. I think I've got a little truck down here. Um, okay. Um, hopefully, this will work. Just export uh, a little bit of livestock for the moment. I didn't, wasn't exactly planning on doing this, but I think for the moment, just to make some money, how much livestock can you carry? one ton well I'll take it we're going to reduce that down a little bit got three tons in there we've got 1.35 tons in there this is pretty efficient actually
and we've got 0.34 so we've actually got workers can actually get to yeah so we've now got a connection so we need to get these asphalt connections going all right i need to assign you i should have assigned this one not all about you but the workforce can build that because it needs no resources Actually, what I could do is, I think for the moment, until I get that up and running. Let me just think what we're going to do is, I say this is a, I need a covered hole. I think oops not cattle. Gotta find my little cattle truck. Okay, you go to there. This guy is there. You unload livestock. You pick up livestock. And we're just export a little bit of livestock. So we met, so that's going to give us a little bit of a shove cash wise, but that's not what I actually built this for. But I, I wouldn't mind another truck. Have you got any spare trucks here that you're carrying bricks? You're carrying bricks. It's difficult to spot the the covered holes. You're an open hole. I don't really need you. You're carrying bricks. So where is the covered holes then? It's got to be one in here somewhere. That's the that's the buses. Do I steal all the covered holes? Hmm, interesting. Okay, it looks like very much like I've actually stolen all the covered holes from here. Hmm. I don't think I've got new vehicle type available I am going to send you back to there so we're just going to rely a little bit on that livestock we're getting some livestock there in fact I think what we will do is add another one here as well So it's not what I, re I actually intended, but I'm going to limit the amount and we're just going to put about 10 tons of wood in there. And I think what I'm going to, ah, I've got no, I need an open hole. I want to borrow an open hole, please. Uh, this is a covered hole, isn't it? <laughs> I've got a pile of open holes in here, haven't I? What have you got here? Okay, I just want to borrow you for a moment. Your job is to go to... Send you to there. Right, we've got the school done here. I'm just going to drop the workforce right down. I think we'll, we'll keep the workforce minimal. So that we got that there how's the steel mill going what's your problems yes bricks we've got a little bit of steel coming in now 
but it's moving forward slowly. What have you got here? Factory connection, wood cutting post, uh, five story building, smoke house is going. So we're kind of putting things together and we're just pulling that little bit of income together. Just a little bit annoyed with these connections. Oh, no. We just need the workforces in there. So we need this to catch up. We've nearly got to one cow there. Shame it's a bit, everything's a bit kind of um, murky there. Can I recover this? Um, trees and accessories. That won't won't restore the soil, will it? That's annoying. I mean, they should be in green fields. Okay. We've nearly got the smokehouse finished. You need this to be allocated as well. Um, just gonna allocate that and that. Time for a food check. Yeah, we're okay with food at the moment. I sent you over here. What I want you to do is, um. We're going to get you to go there. Pick up some logs. Ah, no, you're a... You're a thumper. Well, ah, you up the wrong one. Uh, I've kind of messed up my own production line here now. Okay, we're just going to have to... Um... And if I buy uh, what we what we looking for as an open hole, I'm looking for a cheap open hole, a very cheap open hole that will carry a you carry three tons of boards. And the Zeiss will cost me how much do you carry? You carry two point five. You carry. Three tons. Okay, we're going to buy you. We're going to send you there. And what I'm going to do is, um, pick. actually, I think I might have just messed this up. Um. If I send it to here, they will um, it, it will get sent to export bricks, and he's actually been put on the board route. <sighs> Don't want you exporting boards. I want you back here. I did not buy you to go and do boards. Okay, we're gonna have to do this manually. Once he, we wait for him to get back. All I wanted to do was put some logs or into here, but then this is not ready anyway. So, so messed that up a bit. How's the population now? Put the population back to fifteen hundred. Let's just get over to here. How's the... Yeah, it's bricks and boards. That's the problem. Okay, we're just gonna have to be patient and 
see how things go. Right, we've got a little bit more road going through there. I think we're just get you built there, add you to the list. And we're just going to keep filling these in. The house here is slowly coming together. Right, we've now got a connection to there. Right, so we've finally made the connection. Oh, building on fire. No, 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 no. We could be in trouble. My fire crew's a long way away. Come on. Fire crew. This could be a close run thing. And we got mud roads to go up to. Come on, 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 come on. Save, save my bacon. If I lose this power for, um, supply, I'll be in deep trouble. Oh! <laughs> Oh, um, something tells me that this road needs to be, get, let this guy get out first. We need to gravel these roads. Uh, that was way too close. If that had been winter, I would have lost that power transformer. In fact, I'm kind of tempted. But can I, can I get, a, can't get a road from there. No, I suppose I can't really make any difference we've got, we've got to build those roads in okay um you back to there i need these roads speeded up that was way too close um as i say if i lost that power transformer I would have been in serious problem because even if I'd been able to rebuild it the power loss across the map would have been when it was it's one of the key buildings here to say the power loss across the map would have been you know pretty extensive because I would have been effectively trying to power everything from this little well it goes to show that what I do need is a uh, power station but I can't, I can't really do that just at the moment uh, we've got a few more bricks gone in. Looks like we've got all the steel laid in now. And we've got a little bit of a tiny smidge of eggs, um, a surplus. Uh, let me just see. Um, it's just bricks, bricks and bricks. Oh, we've got 0.25 tons there. I think I would like... How, how many jobs have you got left now? Factory connection, apartment, steel mill, wood cutting post, smokehouse. What does the smokehouse need? Workers. So it's kind of slowly staggering there, isn't it? Right, I think... Where is that truck? Are you, is you, are you back? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do is get you up for a lot of logs from there and drop logs off there. You're gonna steal a few logs from here and what was this I set the capacity to? Ten tons. Yep. We're gonna need to keep an eye on him. But what I'd like to do is put about ten tons in that. Um, smokehouse so that we might be able to get a bit of meat which I can then send to my thing but we're going to have to keep an eye on this guy um, I want to keep him on permanent record I think and yeah, we'll just 
I'm going to put that there for the moment. Because once this is full up, we're just... I just want to see whether the smokehouse will actually work here. I mean, we're up to 21,000, which is pretty good reasonable but i don't want to commit to any more jobs until i've got everything sorted out here i think how's how's the food situation good so we got yeah because we got the crops coming in the crops started coming in without me noticing so we got this field being harvested this one's nearly ready yes this one's nearly ready to go. So we've got the crops coming in here. And the food is flowing. Ah. We've got some there. We're starting to produce fuel again. And more importantly, it looks like we're now a little bit ahead of the curve with respect to the, um, the harvest doing. And what I would like to see is if I get all the crops in here, what I'm thinking is that I might be able to convert one of these fields into um, as well. And then we can bring one of these fields online as well. That will increase my yields progressively. And we've got 23,000. Um, just yeah, we'll keep an eye on this. Little. Okay, we've got six tons of... Right, I'm just kind of... Where are you? Right, we're just going to get them to drop off another load here. I think what we're probably going to need is a distribution office out here to, if once we've got things sorted out here. And but what I'll most likely do if we get this um, section online. We'll be able to do it there. But what I'm going to do is just watch this guy come here. We need 0.58 tons of bricks. Okay, let's drop you all back to depot. Because the other thing I'm thinking about up here actually is I think let's just plan it. Where is it? Well, I thought if I can make some coal. We've got charcoal kilns here. 2.5 tons. No for argument's sake, I can put a, a charcoal kiln in there. I mean, if I put it in a way that they like that. Is there anything else that I can produce more... I mean, back into the charcoal kill. Okay, let me just pause. Game, you are annoying me. Um, okay, let's get back to here. See, this will turn 10 tons of coal and wood into 5 tons of coal. Well, that's big. Is that... I mean, that could be quite nice. But we'd have to... I mean, we've got the potential for a conveyor belt there as well. Um, can I justify that, though? I mean... I, th I think I'm going to plan this and then we'll see how that would go. That would be brilliant if that would... So we're going to just plan that for the moment. Because what I'm work the principle I'm working on is if we can get a, a little bit of coal coming into the power station or possibly even to a heating plant or something like that, we can get things working. Yeah, look at that. The boys are running that in quite nicely. Right, we're up to 24,000 at the moment. So we're actually getting a little bit of working capital at the moment. I think with the winter coming, I think what I want to do is just get a 
Actually, let's get one of the houses in over here now. Um, we completed another section of road, so let me just kind of push that in there. That's going to have to be built by this crew because it's too short for mechanical construction. I think I wouldn't mind bringing the road in from this direction as well. Again, we'll give you guys can have the assist that as well I really need to get the road out this way as well we need to get over to this coal mine and start expanding this way that will be a little bit optimistic at the moment uh, how much that 10,000 profit uh, how much how much do we make in the way of cattle 2,000 odd it's about minimum budget isn't it and of course we're now producing alcohol as well which is going to help with my um, expenditure we, and I really need to get this on in fact I've just realized we're going to need to import um, stuff into here so I do need a distribution office don't I so let's see if we can find a so if I can put a, a six slot distribution office there yeah, I mean this is a if we put a distribution office just in there and that should get picked up again it's a little bit short so just to make sure because we're, we're going to need the dumpers to deliver the coal and iron here for this to work and as well I got here in the way of trucks. I don't think I've got a demand for got the loggy go log guy here, so that's okay. We've got two tons of <laughs> livestock there. I, I don't really want to export these. Uh, I'd rather produce the meat as well. I actually like these fields. The only, the only thing I don't like about them is the fact that I would have, I've much preferred them to be green and they've got no fences on them um, which doesn't make sense for livestock I know this is a bit silly um, try and remember where the fences are I think they're actually in here aren't they Won't go that way. These actually don't look like real. Well, just put some fences round. Just to. Um, not brilliant. Okay, we're now in September. Things are going along quite nicely. Just picked up some more of our livestock. Okay, we've got some people there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what we're going to do is try and move out some of our surplus do we have any have we got a couple of over 21s where are you and we don't want to leave those hanging around okay we're gonna put some surplus in here got a couple down there and we'll just put another small surplus in there Right, so we filled that up. So anyone who goes over 21 now can move into this area. Uh, which will be not particularly a pleasant experience, but hopefully that will preserve some of my workforce when the winter comes. And I think what we're going to do... Right, 
We are gaining a little bit now with the logs. Yeah, we're not really getting the workforce into there, are we? And what we're going to do is shut down the brick exports. I'm um, just going to remove you from the moment. And we're going to stop exporting bricks. Because, I mean, we're not exporting that much anyway. And what I would like to do is, is then we're just going to make the brick production purely related to this. And then, actually, what else have you got here? You don't do boards, do you? Food, I fed small barn. Where are you delivering food to? Oh, the grocery store. You're not picking up crops. Right. What I'm going to do is add you to there. And you're going to pick up logs. And then you're going to deliver there and you're going to unload logs and we're going to keep you about 50% um, what we'll do is rename you to Nakomo meat uh, logs wood I think it's wood isn't it I think it is meat um, I've done that right haven't I let me just check. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, wood. Saying logs because it looks like logs, but that's the way it is. So, so we're going to substitute the bricks for the livestock, and we're just try and keep things going quite nicely at the moment. And then when this is finished, we'll use the input from this small field plus anything else produce some meat which we can then supply to here which will make everyone a bit happier i've just realized that i'm starting to go over long on this video so this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming